the coding comparison query on in vivo for Mac is just a little bit different than the one on Windows. So you can still A, run it, um, and B, generate these uh, quantitative measures of agreement, namely the percent agreement and the kappa coefficient. In the Mac version, you have the ability to choose how broadly or narrowly what unit in vivo is using to calculate these numbers. So you can either have it calculate these numbers based on the character, the sentence, or the paragraph. The other thing to know is that when you run the coding comparison query, you have to set up user group A and user group B. In the Windows version, if you click on a row in the result of the coding comparison query, it will bring up the document for you. And by coding stripes, it shows you here's how this particular user, so person one, coded. And you might have more than two users in your project, right? You might have five. So it will show you how all five of those individuals code it. In the Mac version, the view is a little bit different. If you click on a row in the result of a coding comparison query to bring up the detail view of how people coded in an interview, it will show you using uh, sort of color coding how user group A coded and how user group B coded and where there was overlap. So Everywhere where user group A that you defined coded, that will be yellow. And everywhere where user group B coded, that will be blue. And where there's overlap, that will be green. So this is good enough to pick out where there's agreement and where there's disagreement. But if you have lots of coders in your project, at this point, you can't get down to that specific individual level um, in in vivo for Mac. So my workaround for that is to run multiple coding comparison queries so that you just have two people in each user group. And if you have lots of coders, you might run it across different combinations of coders to get a sense of where people are coding similarly and differently. So often people are working in teams that might be made up of people who are using Macs and some people are using PCs. And in general, at this moment, 2019, we don't recommend working cross-platform. So the we being people who use in vivo a lot. And the reason why is because there are some known issues in this conversion process. So in the Windows version, the file extension is called a .nvp. In order to open a Windows project on a Mac, you have to convert the Windows file, the .nvp, into a .nvpx, which is the Mac file extension. So you can only do this on the Windows version. And it's pretty straightforward. You go to File, Copy, Project, and you choose from that menu to convert it to a Mac version. Then you can ship the Mac version to your Mac computer or your colleague's Mac computer, and they should be able to open it. Now, when you get back to the point in the process where you want to merge the projects together, all of the Mac projects have to be shipped back to a PC, converted back into a PC version, and then merged together. Or, conversely, all of the PC projects have to be on the PC version, converted into Mac projects, shipped to a Mac, pro Mac computer, and then merged together. And this conversion process can take a minute, um, and you can also encounter an error. And so just to keep things simple, we recommend that everybody be on the same platform. So everybody should be on a Mac, and everybody should be on a PC. At a lot of institutions, the best way to do this is something called a virtual machine. So here at Duke, I can set up a, a virtual machine where I can remote into a PC, and I have it set up there for me, and I can use in vivo on a PC, no problem, even though I'm a Mac user. In other uh, instances, it might be helpful to borrow a machine or instead maybe designate a machine that people take turns on if you don't have access to that, maybe a computer lab or something like that, um, so that everybody can be either on Mac or on PC. One thing to be aware of is whether you're using a Mac or a PC, the ability to turn on coding stripes by user or um, compare your coding by multiple users varies in Mac versus PC. So at this time, you cannot, in a Mac version, turn on coding stripes by user. Um, 
and you can in Windows. And this is just something to keep in mind when you're getting down to that really nitty gritty of how did this person code versus this person versus this person.